Hi there, Sergeant Doug Fleet with the Guelph Police Service, and I want to welcome you to today's YouTube video on roundabout safety. Recently, we've received a lot of calls from the citizens wondering how to use these roundabouts properly. So our attempts with this video today is to show you the proper ways to use a roundabout so that everyone using them can use them safely and no one gets hurt. Thanks again, and thanks for tuning in. This type of intersection is making a greater presence in cities, which is ultimately aimed at improving the safety of motorists and citizens. It has two lanes, which exit off at three different spots. These are designed to help keep a constant flow of traffic and to allow multiple vehicles to travel at once. Cambridge and Kitchener are some of the many cities in Ontario who will place them at busy intersections and around areas where vehicles need to slow down. Guelph is jumping on the bandwagon and currently has two roundabouts in the city's south end. Sergeant Doug Flug of the Guelph Police gives some cautionary tips when using them. I think one of the most important points that we should bring out about using roundabouts is that when you're approaching one and you see the yield sign, that doesn't mean stop. All you want to do is slow down, look both ways and scan like you normally would, but you continue on through the roundabout and go on your merry way. We do have a lot of situations where people will come up to them, they'll treat the yield sign as though it's a stop sign, stop, and the person following them will anticipate that you're going to go through and we have a rear end collision. The idea of roundabouts has caused quite some controversy in other cities. In one case in Kitchener, a student was hit by a vehicle while crossing the roundabout. This has prompted some groups to protest and request that normal intersections be put back in place. However, in Guelph, the roundabouts are proving to be an effective route of transportation and so far there have been no reported injuries. The number one thing Sergeant Doug Flug and the Guelph Police want to stress is to be careful and cautious. I'm Shannon Gwynn for Guelph Police TV on YouTube.